Hey, welcome to Nourishable Raw, an authentic conversation about nutrition with me, Dr. Lara. I had two uncles ask me about bone broth, a current hot topic in the wellness world. Bone broth is being promoted as a health elixir to reduce joint pain and beautify skin and hair. Let's science it. But first, what is bone broth? Although it's trendy right now, bone broth is nothing new. It's made by slowly simmering animal bones in water to extract the nutrients. Many of the health claims on bone broth center around it being a source of the protein collagen. Collagen is a long, twisty protein that forms the structure of our bones, cartilage, and skin. If you've ever made stock at home that has a wobble to it, this is from collagen that has been broken down into smaller fragments called gelatin. It's the same thing that makes jello jiggle. Now for the health claims. Joint pain due to general wear and tear or osteoarthritis is due to decreased levels of collagen in cartilage, which pads our joints. Collagen also forms the architecture of our skin. As we age, skin collagen breaks down, contributing to wrinkles. Bone broth is a source of collagen, so does drinking bone broth provide collagen to our skin and joints? There haven't been any studies looking at bone broth for these applications. But even hypothetically, it isn't feasible that the collagen from bone broth could be making it to these tissues. Nothing in nutrition makes sense unless we consider the processing and digestion of our food. In order to make bone broth, we have to heat the bones. Heating proteins breaks them down, so the process of making bone broth is going to break down the collagen into smaller fragments. Remember that wobbly gelatin? When you drink bone broth, digestive enzymes will break down the proteins into individual amino acid building blocks. And this is a good thing, because we can't absorb these big proteins into our blood, but we can absorb the amino acids. Doesn't matter if it's collagen or any other protein from plants or animals, we're going to digest that protein into amino acids before they enter the bloodstream. From there, these amino acids will get sent wherever in the body we need them. We can't just will the amino acids to go towards our skin and our joints to build more collagen. So bone broth isn't a magic bullet to alleviate joint pain or smooth skin. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't eat it. I just wouldn't go out of my way spending a bunch of extra time and money to get bone broth to enhance skin and joint health. Our body naturally produces collagen as long as you have enough vitamin C. So don't be vitamin C deficient, then you definitely won't produce collagen. Unfortunately, we haven't figured out ways to stimulate our body to produce more collagen in our skin and joints as we age. So the best we can do is maintain the collagen that we have by not smoking and reducing sun exposure. I fully support making bone broth at home as a way to use the whole animal and to serve as a base for healthy soups. Here at the Nourishable Household, we, well, my partner, makes stocks from chicken and turkey carcasses, and we use it when making soups full of veggies and barley. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable Raw. If you have a question you'd like me to do an episode on, leave it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition. Mm -hmm.